we need to wind two coils in the fly back. First, take off the clip and with a piece of wire, wind 10 turns around the core to have one coil. Then, with another piece of wire, wind another 10 turns in the same direction and you will have your second coil. Then, join together the central wires to form a single point for connection. Another thing you have to do is to identify the negative pin of the flyback. The video now on the screen teaches you how to do the pin identification. The high voltage positive is the thick red wire in the flyback. The circuit is very simple as you can see. You can drive it from 1 to 12 volts. However, don't use it for more than 30 seconds if you drive it at 12 volts because the transistor gets really hot. Here we have the assembled circuit. It's very simple. The flyback resistor connected to the transistor. The transistor is mounted on a heat sink and we have the high voltage output positive and negative. Let's try our system first with a single 1.5 volt battery. We can see the voltage. It is almost 200 volts. We can power a small fluorescent lamp. Not at full power, of course. We will now use a 6 volt battery. As we can see, the arc is almost 1 cm, indicating that the voltage is close to 10,000 volts. And now we will use a 12 volt battery.